So let me preface this video by saying that uh, if you're a fabricator, uh, you aren't going to get anything out of this. This is <laughs> this is a very basic little video for uh, for people trying to fiddle their way through this stuff on their own, like I am. That's all I'm doing. I'm certainly not uh, an expert in, in fabricating, as you've probably seen. So uh, I'm learning as I go, and that's partly why I wanted to build my exhaust, was because it gives me a lot of chance to weld, first off. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot of welding, uh, getting this exhaust made, and that's I need that. I need the practice. So, And I learn to pick up a few other little tips and tricks on the way. So this one, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, this one is, is one of those. It's just a quick, I'll show you how I did this, how I set it up, and, uh, and yeah, and then, you know, go forth boldly and, and make pie cuts of your own. This is something that, uh, you know, can be as precise or as imprecise <laughs> as you want it to be, but I'm just going to show you my theory around it and how I'm setting up to do it. Um, now this I did get from, uh, I, I think it was a, a video that Finnegan put out uh, at one point, sometime, some time ago. And so initially you have to do some calculating. So you'll see here, I want to get to a 90. Now I also would like to quite easily do a 45. And so the best way to do that is to do it with four pieces and that way two is 45 and four is 90 or if you want to use one or three depending you know depending on the bend you need but that's sort of the common way we you know try to wiggle our way front to back uh, there's going to be cases where and and you'll see it when guys are tig welding up uh you know uh, turbo kits and stuff like that they'll make very fancy setups with multiple pie cuts and you can have them on all kinds of various degrees this is just a very crude setup it'll make a fairly smooth corner <clears throat> pardon me not you know not perfect flow or anything but this is just getting to where we need to get so so i'm just my main method of cutting anything in this shop is is a chop saw and so that's what i'm setting up to use and so these are just some basic calculations to get started. So 90 degrees in half is 45. That in half is 22 and a half. Uh, 45 and 90 split is 67 and a half degrees. And so every one of these pies is going to be 22 and a half degrees. Now, to keep things even going around, I can't just keep cutting 22 and a half degrees out of there, pretty soon I have a great big long egg shape, or oval I should say. And so this is where the video Finnegan did, he showed. Now in this case, my pipe has, has this seam, so I'll use that as my one line. Directly opposite from that, you want to draw another line. And so each cut, I'm going to be rotating this pipe so that we cut this way, then we cut this way, then we cut this way. And so in, in actuality, from, from, uh, from a 90, my number is 11 and a quarter, because I only want to cut half of that angle from each way. And so I'm setting up my chop saw for 11.25 degrees. Well, I don't have anything to actually do that with that kind of accuracy. Or, you know, there's probably an app, but whatever. This is a Speedy Square, uh, you know, any hardware store, a few bucks. Plastic one, high precision. And so my pivot is there, I've set it, and, oops, where am I? Here we go. <laughs> in my case, first you wanna determine, in my case, my blade runs pretty much parallel with that, with this slot. Uh, so I'm just measuring off this line. Now, again, we're down to a quarter degree here, right? Just got to be bang on the money. And so, 
11.25 degrees. And you lock it down and then uh, you'll forget it's that way the next time you go to cut a pipe off square and you'll screw it up. But anyway, I will cut a few here and we'll see if I got it right. guessing here because I haven't done this but let's it looks to me like let's start with an inch and a half at the center so it'll be wider there it'll be narrower there that'll be not a real tight bend but let's just see what that does for us Same thing on the other side. Yeah, that one, and it'll probably say, "Oh crap, that's not near big enough for way too big." But let's just see. Now, some time has to be spent getting this thing lined up. And in this case, we want to be right in the middle of our mark. That's pretty close. So yeah, that's not a very tight one. But it's still going to make a pretty tight corner compared to a, uh, a curved piece of tubing. So just for the first try here, I'm going to stick with that, I think. Oh, this has to be a bit of and this is not important to to the grinder and then we'll see how we did. All right, I've laid these out and this is the result and I either by luck or by some small margin of victory, uh, we've ended up pretty close. So there's my 90 degree. I don't have huge gaps here, I've laid them out. So obviously you're gonna alternate these but you line up these lines that you made earlier and that's going to keep it keep it straight and you can just turn them slightly if you need to adjust the gaps and there's our 90 now i can see that i'm really not much tighter than this than this factory bend that i got so i'm not gaining anything really with with this size of pie cut so I need to all that means is instead of this inch and a half that I did here this is two and a half inch pipe I don't think I actually mentioned that um, I shortened that to an inch or even less to the to where these inside welds are virtually touching each other I could make them that skinny if I wanted to and you could just have it go so anyway that will be the next one I'll just shorten it up but my angle <laughs> I, like I say, I, I kind of got lucky if we're honest, right? Like this is not, we're not dealing with quarter degree precision here. Uh, ah, and here's version two. Now, where these I measured at an inch and a half, these are measured at an inch. 
uh, on the center line one inch. So this has tightened up the corner considerably, as you can see. Instead of that, we now have this, which gets us into pretty, pretty tight corners. Uh, a person could go just a little bit more, but for my purposes, I think this is about right. Um, to go much more than you're starting to deal with a pretty small piece of metal there where you're welding on that inside seam. Uh, not that there's a problem there, but I won't have a need to bend tighter than this. So one inch, that's very easy to remember. And uh, that gets me where I need to go. So pretty cool. There's my pie cuts for 45s, 90s, or when you need that 22 and a half degree uh, slight bend. <laughs>